Testing one, two, just let me know if you can see my screen here. Is that good, Kathy? Start in a few minutes. Good to go? Okie doke. I'll be right back, everybody. We do try to start on time, we try to end on time. We are very fortunate today to have Mr. Uncle here with us. The uh, presentation is scheduled to start at exactly 4.30 Eastern Time and ends uh, at 5.30 Eastern Time. We do want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here again today. This is Online Creator Central. I see that some people are still registering, but we do, uh, we do try to start on time. So I would like to, uh, at this point, ask you to uh, please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter from thestockswish.com. Please. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you so much, everyone, at OnlineTraderCentral.com. Welcome, and happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. My name is Melissa Armel, and I'm here today to talk to you about learning how to earn money day trading, and quite a substantial amount of money day trading, actually. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswish.com, or you could email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information, and Kathy's going to put my information there in the room. You can also go to YouTube, and I have a lot of trades on YouTube as well. So let's get started here today. Feel free to ask me any questions as we go along. I will answer them as we go along here today. We have a lot to cover. And we're going to start out talking about being lucky. It's a good day to do this because it's March 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day, and some of you are celebrating, and it's going to be a wonderful, fun night to go out tonight and celebrate. So as you're sitting here right now thinking about trading, thinking about your trading day, thinking about your life, or maybe how you traded today, or what's happening in your finances, do you consider yourself a lucky person? Or do you consider yourself an unlucky person? Think about it on this St. Patty's Day. Do you, are you in the category of the lucky people or the unlucky people? Ultimately, success or failure really has a lot to do with your perspective. And it's very interesting. As I teach people, and the more people I come in contact with, I, I really believe this. Of course, I've always realized this, but I'm seeing more and more evidence of this the more people that I connect with. Because a lot of people who have made an attempt to trade unsuccessfully have a bad attitude about trading and the market and they may have their perspective is actually skewed whereas there are some people who have a very positive outlook about trading and the market 
And even if they maybe have not had as much success as they would like to, they actually have conviction and believe in the market as a place to make a lot of money. And their perspective on this is actually very positive, okay? So I want you to put your perspective aside for the moment and just sink in this morning or this afternoon and listen to what I'm saying to try to get a new perspective. If you're in that category, you feel like you're unlucky, then just stop on that. And let's take a fresh perspective today, just for the next 60 minutes, and think about the things that I'm going to talk to you about today to try to get a new perspective on the market. It's time to think about taking control of your own destiny and basically creating your own luck, other than leaving it up to the whims or the whimsicals of life or chance, but deciding to take control of your own destiny and make things happen for yourself. I personally have done this, and I'm teaching people to do this even now. You can start now if you want to. It's kind of like you really don't have to take forever to be successful trading. It might take some time. You might have to learn, but it doesn't have to take forever. A lot of people want to trade. They want to day trade, but they have absolutely no idea where to start. This is a clip of the QQQs and the market today near the close. A lot of people want to trade, but they just don't have any idea like where to start. From where to when, what do I trade, what stocks, what do I do, what market. And maybe you actually are trading right now. You are doing it, okay? But you're not doing it in a way where you're seeing consistent results. You don't have a reliable method to trade, and you are looking for one. This is a chart of WSM, a bullish gap that I actually discussed in a webinar that I did last week on the day of the gap, and it made new highs today and is on its way and continuing and following through. Maybe you've been just searching for a new career. Maybe you're sick and tired of the thing that you've been doing, a job maybe you've had for the last 10, 15 years, and you're just tired of it. You want to find something new. You're not making enough money, and you're sick to death of it. You're bored. You might actually be bored. And the interesting thing is it's, it's the worst to be bored in your career because you get up every day and you have nothing to look forward to. And you know what it is about training that I love? It is so not boring. It is the least boring job in the world. It is exciting, actually. I'm very passionate about what I do. In fact, I was talking on the phone last night to somebody who said, gosh, you're so, so passionate about what you do. And I said, of course I am. Of course I am. It's exciting to trade the stock market. And not only that, it's exciting to make money doing it. So why wouldn't I be excitable and passionate about trading? When you're successful making money in the stock market, it is exciting, it is fun, and it is the best lifestyle and career you could have ever had because you're basically working for yourself and every day is something new. Every day I almost trade a different stock. If this is you and you're feeling like at this point in your life in March of 2014, like you're financially behind the eight ball in your life, maybe you're at a point in your career, maybe you're at a point in your age, maybe at a point, you, you know, with whatever, your personal or financial situation where you feel like, gosh, I should be farther ahead along than I am right now. And you look at this and you, and you get upset with yourself. But there's really no reason to because you can change your circumstance. You, you can. And it doesn't have to take a long time. Here's a good quote from Carl Bard. Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. So you can change whatever your circumstances are and you can learn to do something different. It's time to make a fresh start. And the beginning of the year is a good time to do this, to give yourself a chance, a new start, a new career, a new life, and not only that, a new you. And what is the vehicle to do this new start? It's day trading. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So what is day trading? What is the definition of a day trader? A day trader is an investor who attempts to profit by making rapid trades intraday. A day trader often closes out all the trades before the market closes and does not hold any open positions overnight. Some day traders use leverage to magnify the returns generated from small stock price movements. And that's a very short definition of day trading, but it's true. This is really what day trading is. You take a trade, the market starts and opens at 9.30, and you're flat every day by 4 o'clock. And usually, actually, I'm out of most of my trades by the morning. Every once in a while, I'll trade in the afternoon, but I'm a day trader that likes to trade in the morning time of the day, which, again, is why it's a really nice lifestyle, because you have other things to do. You can do them in the afternoon. And you know what the funny thing is, there's mostly men in this industry. There's more men in this industry than women that are traders. But you know what? Day trading is actually a great career for women. Because if you're a housewife or you are a mom, you can trade while your kids are at school in the morning and then have plenty of time to pick them up to go be soccer moms and do all the things. It's actually a great career for women too. Women and men, it's a great career. And day trading can be highly lucrative. 
This is one of the reasons that I love it. I was talking about this today in the live trading room. The reason that I want to trade is because I want to make a lot of money. And I'm not going to say anything other than that because that is the truth. That's the reason that I got into it. And talking about perspective, okay, to some people the idea of making a quarter of a million dollars a year seems absolutely like crazy. It seems like astronomical, like, oh my gosh, it's so much money. But you got to put things in perspective. It's a lot of money to make if you are living right now to circumstances where you're at the medium income, okay? And it's a lot of money to make in a short time frame. And it's a lot of money to make to work from home. But in the bigger picture of the market, the larger picture of what the market offers for, for anyone, for investors, for traders, for anyone that exists, it's actually a very small, 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 tiny piece in the bigger picture. So how can you become successful day trading? Well, it takes much more than hard work. A lot of people say, well, I've worked hard. I've worked so hard. I've worked so hard to get it. But it takes more than that, okay? It takes much more than that. To be able to earn even a quarter million dollars a year as a trader, it takes more than that. It takes ingenuity. And it takes a detailed plan of action to trade. The number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis, meaning every week. Trading success and financial success in the market is not by pure design. It is by you setting out to say to yourself, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have a plan of action. I'm going to make it happen. You have to have a niche. You can't just go in willy-nilly every day and trade, buying support and shorting resistance. You have to have a strategy. And if you want to trade like everyone else out there, then your results are just going to be like that, like everyone else's, which is, guess what? Losing. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. If you want to have outstanding results in your trading, then you need to be different. You need to grab hold of what works and learn from a trader who has a special talent for reading the market, which is me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you today. And that's why I'm teaching people. Learning a methodology and a system is, that is unique is important for you to be successful. And having a mentor that's successful is important for you to be successful. Okay? I have a unique method and a strategy that I train. Okay? And I created it myself. So you got to have... A, a design, a plan of action to set out to do it. You have to have a niche. I'm going to talk today about some longs. And WSM was a long that I called, but I prefer to short. And I actually think that shorting the market, which is what I like to do, gives me an edge because not that many traders know how to short. Many, many traders don't know how to short, don't feel comfortable shorting, don't like to short, or don't do it well and prefer to go long. But the great thing is about shorting is there's a lot of panic action that comes into stocks when they uh, have selling action that come into them that traders can take advantage of by shorting the position into. So let's talk about this. How can you earn a quarter of a million dollars a year in the market? Is it possible to make this kind of money day trading? And is there any money in trading stocks or is the stock market dead? I put this in here today to talk about because somebody actually emailed me I don't know if the gentleman is here today. He said, I heard the market's dead, he said. I heard it's dead. The market is not dead. I'm here to tell you that the market is not dead. It never was dead. It never will be dead. The market is alive and well. And even though there's all kinds of things out there, people are doing Forex and trading different kinds of markets, the United States stock market, trading the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchanges, is alive and well and ticking and breathing and has more money in it than any other market out there. It's, it's exciting to do new things, okay? And there's other markets you can make money in, absolutely. But the United States stock market is not dead. It's alive and well, and there's tons of money in that. There's more money that flows through that than anything else, okay? And everybody dreams about trading in the U.S. market. It's just that they have gone on and tried to learn different things because they've lost conviction in the market. They've lost conviction in the market because they feel like the market is rigged or doesn't have any follow-through. But that's not true. It does. Market is bullish. It's continuing higher. Today proved that. And also, there are strategies that you can do in the market to make money that are there every day or almost every day. And the great thing about trading the U.S. market is it is regulated. So it's, it's not rigged, okay? It's regulated. It's there. You follow the rules and you can learn how to do it successfully and make money and feel like you have conviction in the system itself. So what do you consider a lot of money? Again, we were talking about this earlier. Everybody
everybody has a different idea. I mean, if I asked everyone in here, everybody would probably say a different answer. Some people would say 250000 a year. Some people would say 100000 a year. Some people would say $2 million. Everybody would say something different because it depends on your perspective. It depends on your perspective. It just depends on what you're used to. The fact is there are millions and millions and millions of dollars in the market. Millions. Now, how much is in a million? A million is actually a thousand times a thousand. That's a million, and we can we can conceive of that. We can take a hundred thousand dollars and we can times it by a thousand, and that's actually what a million is. So we can we can conceive of that. We could actually put it on our calculator. We could write it down. We could do it in our head. A thousand times a thousand, oop, a million. There it is. Or you could take a hundred thousand times a thousand. Ah, it's a million. So one million is a lot of money. We're not going to disagree about that. But actually, how much is a billion? Well, let's see. A billion is what? It's 1,000 million. Okay? Or 10 to the ninth power. Okay? It's an exceptionally large number. I like this definition here. Exceptionally large. Like, a lot. Okay? So, there's actually billions of dollars in the market, not just millions. It's an exceptionally large number. Number, it's 1,000 million. And actually, you would have to, it might blow up your calculator, depending on how old or new your calculator is or what kind you're using to actually write that number. You might not see all the zeros. You might not see it all. You might have to scroll down to see all the numbers. Okay? It's 1,000 million. So, you've got to put it into perspective about what is achievable for you because this idea of making $250,000 a year or a quarter of a million dollars a year when there is Billions of dollars in the market, and let's just go back here. What is a billion? Bill one billion, just one billion is 1,000 million, and you're only looking to make a quarter of a million, and this is over a year. Over a year's time, you're only looking to make a quarter of a million in a year's time. So do you see how if you put it in perspective, it doesn't sound like that crazy. Like, again, perspective, perspective, perspective. What is achievable for you? It is achievable. And if you don't believe it's achievable, then guess what? You're not going to achieve it. I can tell you that right now. You have to get it into perspective and understand that it absolutely is possible. And if you understand how much money is in the market, you will see that it is possible because it's like a smidgen, a smidgen of what you're trying to make. And this is over a period of a year, okay? You've got to think big if you want it to happen for you. If you don't think big, then you're not going to make it. You've got to think big. There is only one winner, okay? There is one winner only. And the winner wins big in the market. That's the beautiful thing because guess what? If you can get to the point where you're making $250,000 a year, a quarter of a million dollars a year, guess what? Someday if you continue on that path and keep doing what you're doing and keep getting good and keep doing a system and a strategy that works, eventually you're probably going to make a million. And then you could probably make even more because the winners in the market win big. And not only that, there's only one. There's only one. In every trade that happens, in every trade you take, there is one loser and one winner. When you take a trade, there's someone that's up opposite you in that trade that loses. This is, it's not like a pot of money in Wall Street. It's not like a big pot. It's not like a big jar that you just go there and take it out. It's, you are taking money away from someone else when you win. And that person then is losing. And when you lose, then somebody else is taking the money away from you. That's what's so important to understand here, why you have to be accurate and good with what you do and why there's so much potential as well, because there is one winner okay, and the winner wins big. You are either a winner or you are a loser. You cannot be both, okay? You either are a winner or you are a loser, and you decide which one you are going to be, and you can decide, okay? So make the decision, and make the decision before you decide to trade, because this is not something for folly. It's something to be taken seriously, because the winners can win big, and that's the exciting part about trading. You're either a winner or you're a loser, and if your perspective is that you're a loser, then you will continue to be one. If your perspective is that you are a winner, even if you're losing right now, if you believe you're a winner, you will figure it out. Or you will find someone like me and connect with me and I'll teach you how to be a winner and you're going to make it. You have to decide how serious you are about doing this. Okay? So let's talk here about 
a call that I made, and you can go to my YouTube website. I did this. This is a gutsy thing to do. I put a video out the night before this gap happened. It was the night before. It was the night before the trade even happened, and I said it was going to work, and I said what it was going to do, and it did it. So on Thursday night, I looked at ARL. This is the strategy that I trade. It is a gap. It was a gap trade. I'm showing you here what the chart looked like. This is, this is what it looked like at night. And the stock was gapping down here overnight around here. And I did a video the night before, and I said, Friday, this is a short. And I had no idea where it's going to open. I didn't know anything at all, except for I knew my strategy, which is called the golden gap. And I knew that the gap was going to fall through to the downside. Okay? Now, what did it do? This is what it did. It opened here. It rallied. It fell. This was Friday, and this was today. So the stock was a short. So I saw this ahead of time because I have a system. I have a system I use to trade successfully to win. Okay? And I have confidence in my system that it works to win because I've been doing it now for a long time, for years, for five years. Now, what was the setup on this if you did ARO as a short on the day? Well, let's look here. This is a one-minute chart, okay? So the stock opened, tried to go higher, failed, dropped, broke a low, tried to go higher, failed, tried to go higher, failed. Here was the short. Stop over the high of the day, the stock went down, and it actually ended up opening way down here, like around 16, 15 something. I remember I looked at this the night before. It was around here. So it actually opened way, way down, okay, lower than what I saw at Thursday night by the time it opened. So it was very close to the target. So the first target on this was $6. So if you took the trade, you had to get out. You had to get out of the target, the first target. And sometimes trades will go to dream targets, but sometimes they won't. They actually will halt at the first target, and that's what this did. So the entry time was 9.38. Price was 6.20. Stop was over 6.31. It was an $0.11 cent risk. Okay, now this is a day trade. You are taking 5,500 shares, which is an advanced risk, or if you want to do an intermediate risk, you divide it by two, that'd be around 300, okay? And the exit was at the target. Total profits $1,100. Now, because it opened so low and was so near the target, this, was, this wasn't even a two-hour trade, but it still was a very solid trade. It was a very solid trade with high odds of working, okay? So that's a good thing because you can feel like you could take the trade with confidence and risk the money, whatever money you decide here, 600, 300, 100 bucks if you want to, and still profit. So you would have made $1,100 trading this on the day, and you would have done it in 20 minutes. That's, that's it then. You're, you could have stopped for the day and just made 1,100 bucks. That's a good amount of money to make, okay? Do you see how if you're making $1,000 trades, how you can earn a living doing this? I mean, you can $1,000 is a nice amount of money to get paid for working just for 20 minutes. You didn't even work for eight hours. Okay, that's a good income. Now, how can you make this kind of money in the market? Well, you can do one trade. You could do two trades. You could do multiple trades. You could do swing trades. You could follow that ARO down even more. And let's see what happened. Well, what happened next? What happened next is after the stock hit the target, it went boop and it ran over the high of the day. Ran over the high of the day all the way up here to what? This is resistance. It ran up here and held resistance, which is $6.50. There was another setup on this. It followed through to work to a bigger target then on the next target. Later, if you wanted to take the trade, and we're going to go over in a minute. But I want to talk about this here because if you saw something like this, you might have thought about buying this. It was the wrong thing to do. The stock continued and broke a new low into the close of the day thawed through lower today as well. But I want to talk about this here because this type of activity here, this action, this price action, the way the stock rallied up here then to this resistance is what separates the winners from the losers in trading. Okay? The winners are winners because they do the trade in the right direction and they do the trade in the right direction in the case of ARO is a short. In the case of ARO, it is not a long. Now, the winners are winners because why? They read this chart here, and they read the actual gap. Now, what is a gap? A gap is something that is a strategy, and all a gap is is really where the stock opens at a different price the next day than it closed the day before. This was Wednesday. No, this was Thursday night. 
Thursday night, the stock closed here at around 720, 20-ish, and then Friday morning opened down here at around 615. So that is what a gap is, but the strategy is called a gap. So if you have conviction in the strategy, you know that you could do this. If you have a system to actually find this stock like ARO and actually determine that it is a short, you can do it. The strategy tells you what to do. The strategy is the basis for taking the trade. The, the thing that I find that many people find confusing about day trading or trading at all actually is they constantly want to do setups. For those of you that are traders, you'll understand this. If you're not a trader, you may not understand this. So I'm speaking to the people that are actually traders right now. Traders want to do setups. They don't have a strategy. They just do plays. And they can't find, figure out why they're not consistent because you can't do setups everywhere all over the place. If there's an overlying strategy that's actually intact, real, good, and, and, and solid, and in this case, it was the bearish gap. So you would not go long the stock. Even though it even ran over the high of the day, you wouldn't go long the stock because the strategy itself is intact. Now, what made the stock go over the high of the day? Before I go on to the next play here, I want to explain this briefly. Because in every trade you take, remember I talked about this, there's a winner and a loser. And this goes true for everyone that's in the market. This is true for even people that run hedge funds or institutions because you know that they don't make money in all their trades either. I mean, again, to put this in, into perspective, there is no 100% in anything. There will be days where you take a trade and it doesn't work and you can't be afraid to take a stop. Institutions have to do the same thing sometimes. Sometimes they have to say, cut it out. We're out. We lost money in this thing. We made a poor decision. We have to stop it. Not every institution is taking the same trade. Sometimes there's two in a stock taking alternate positions. And again, there's only one winner and one loser. In the case of ARO, what happened here was some pre-market shorts exited here at the first target at 6. Some quick shorts in the morning, like me, exited the first target at 6. Some people also tried to buy this that were traders. It was a bad play, but they did try to buy it, which created the bounce at 6. And then some people got stopped down here where they had to stop over the high of the day looking for a bigger target, which created the lift here, which was green, over the high of the day. And also, guess what? This got bought. But that's not who was controlling the stock. That's not the people that were controlling the stock. And this is what I'm teaching people how to do. Now, how do I know? Because the stock held this area and wasn't going to go over it. It was a real area here in the daily chart of the stock. And in the 15-minute chart, in the 1-minute chart, in the 2-minute chart, in the 5-minute chart, it was a real price area of resistance in this stock. So the people that are controlling ARO, that are controlling it, which is the institutions, said we're not letting the stock go over 650. We're just not going to. And so they pressurized it, which is what resistance is, and they sold more, shorted more to create the selling pressure to make sure it doesn't go over this. So whatever institution bought this, if they held it through this, they're actually down now. Or maybe they killed it, and that's why the stock rolled over into the close and also today, because the stock came on down and made a new area today. So I want, so this is where the learning process of understanding a strategy and how important it is to have this matters, because you can't just take trades willy-nilly all over the place when you trade. So you could have done this again. There was a second play in this in the afternoon. And why would you have? Because the strategy was intact, which was the gap. You could have shorted this right here with a stop over the 15-minute bars. This is a 15-minute chart now, not a one-minute, because you're trading in the afternoon if you do the trade. The entry time, oh, actually, it wasn't, it wasn't 9.35. This is late. Uh, the entry time was 9, it was 12.30 here. 12.30 into 12.45. I didn't have the time right there. Here's the correct entry. Price is right here, though, at 626. Stock was over 641. It's 15 cents. Again, in an advanced risk, it's $600. This isn't advanced risk. This isn't for someone that should be trading this that's not, that's new. Exit was at 586, right down in the low of the day. Okay? And total profit you could have made was $1,600. This is 2.67 times the amount risk made in profit. Again, it's not an amazing trade. It's only a little over two R's. But if you take the 1.8 hours you made here, this is the morning, and you take the afternoon trade of 2.6, you could have made 2,700 bucks on ARO on the day. And you could have risked 600 bucks and made over four hours. And even if you didn't risk 600, if you risked 300, you still would have made four hours. It was a four hour trade if you did the two trades in this gap on the day. This was on Friday. Now, 
it set up again the next day, which was today. Today was Monday, and I actually shorted this today, okay? It had a move. I'm not sure exactly where this closed in the day, but it was a follow-through continuation and a beautiful move and a follow-through of the strategy itself. The entry time for this was 9.31, and it fell right into the reversal time here, into the morning period at 10 o'clock, and you could have been out. This wasn't even the low of the day, but it was a good exit. So the, the entry time on this was right away. It's 9.31, 5.79, stop is 5.87. And again, I was talking about this earlier. You can't be afraid to use stops or put stops in because your risk has to be defined. Now, in this trade, you might have only taken half size. Why? This is a very aggressive entry to do in something for a follow-through gap. It worked, and you could have made 665 bucks. Again, 2.3. These are very realistic and conservative numbers. I'm, I'm using very realistic and conservative numbers here for people to see that you don't have to make 10 hours in a trade or 5, 6 hours in a trade to still make money. Why? Because you have conviction in the overall strategy to follow through on the setups. You can't take the setup without the strategy. You've got to have a strategy, which is a backbone for the trade. Okay? So turning 280 bucks into 665, and, and again, this is day trading because you're out flat in the day. Now, if you wanted to do a swing trade on this, entry was the same time as the first day, which was Friday. Price was the same, okay? Stop was over here. Risk is 11 cents, out at $5. Total profit so far on the play, it's intact. You would be up 350 bucks, okay? The target's five. You're still in it. And I'm using here risking only $55 because the fact is you would not take a 5,000 share lot in something for an overnight. This is a swing trade. You would only take a much smaller risk. So this is only taking 500 shares. And I want to point something out else at too. With this price point, okay, you can certainly do this. Anyone could do this. You don't have to have a massive account of a million dollars in your trading account to do a trade like this. With buying power, what you needed for this, you take the amount of the price of the stock. Say, for example, you're getting it at $6. If you wanted to take 500 shares, you don't even need a large account. If you want to take... 5,000 shares, you don't even need a large account. So look at this overall perspective here. If you took 5,000 shares of ARO and shorted it, for example, at six bucks, you only needed 30,000 in buying power. That's not dollar for dollar, that's buying power, okay? So you don't, you don't even need millions of dollars to be able to take these type of position sizes. These are, these are very um, inexpensive stocks to trade. So how much money could you have made in ARO in two days? Well, if you had played ARO with conviction in every setup from Friday through today, you could have made over $3,300. And the initial risk was like 600 something. So you could have done that in one stock. That's all. So in two days, you could have made 3,300 bucks risking 600, playing it on Friday and Monday. And it didn't even have a big move today. And that doesn't even include the swing trade. So just day trading this stock in two days, you could have made $3,300. That's it. And that's only doing one stock, one symbol. It's not over trading, it's not anything. And how is it possible because of the strategy? Many people ask me, can you do bullish golden gaps? The answer is yes. Again, I called this WSM last week, the day of the actual gap, which was here on Thursday. I actually called it along in the room to this morning too. And again, I didn't do it. I prefer to go short, but it worked. Target on this for a swing trade is 70 bucks, and it's going to get there. It's a very nice bullish gap. So the key to day trading stocks successfully really is the right strategy, the right strategy and the right system. One quality strategy is all you need to successfully trade. That's all you need to pay yourself on a regular basis. And knowing a strategy can replicate over and over for profits can totally change your trading world. If you've been trading and not having success, knowing, learning a strategy that works can just totally turn it around. Totally turn it around. Having one powerful strategy that pays will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market because the market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. And you do need this if you want a career doing this. Professional gaps are a strategy that can generate up to a quarter of a million dollars a year of income in profits or more. Because again, if you get to the point where you're making that much, you're on your way to make more. So earning a high income is only one reason, however, to trade gaps. There's so many other reasons. Being taking the trades early in the morning, being done quickly. 
not having to even uh, trade both directions. I only do shorts. You could pick one direction and just do all the bullish gaps or do all the bearish gaps. You could just pick one thing. And it's also a great career because you can work from home. So how do you make money in the market? You trade a strategy that is profitable, number one. And the most important thing, and professional gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they create large momentum to trade. What stocks should you train? Stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26-point rating system. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. This is a system that I develop. And you trade the gap in the direction of the gap. When do you trade them? Early in the morning on the open when they set up and trigger. That's when you're looking to get in them. Now, whether you hold it to the first target, the second target, the dream trade, take a second trade, take an afternoon trade is up to you. But the goal is to get the setup early in the morning. Now, what I use, the system I created is, is a checklist. I get up in the morning and I look at stocks, a whole list of gamut of stocks, and I rate them. I go off of a rating system that I created, which looks at 26 points. I'm looking at the daily chart of the stock, and it's based on technical analysis. I don't look at fundamentals at all. Now, if you like fundamentals and that helps you, if it helps you to read what's going on in ARO, whatever it was, whatever happened in that stock last week or today, if it helps you reading about the fundamentals to get conviction, then do it. Okay? If it, if it takes away from your ability to have conviction to short the stock and you don't want to do it. And that's the thing I always tell people. Be aware of the fact that if you read the fundamentals, it's not going to take you away from reading the price. But anything that you can do to help you get conviction will help you trade better. So the 26-point rating system measures the gap by rating them on the daily chart to find the stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move on the day, early confirmation of the bias, the bias meaning whether it's a short or a long, and you want to get in the trade between 9.30 and 10, okay? I'm also looking for precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward target potential, which is really usually three. I'm usually looking for three. Now, you don't get every trade for three, but sometimes you get way more than three. Sometimes you get five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes you get ten. I used very realistic examples here today of trades that I've done because I want people to see you don't need to be making six, seven hours to make money consistency, consistently. Because if you have a gap, it's a good gap, and it sets up, you do the train, and you can make money. And when it works, you do it. So what do you need? What are the things? If you want to day trade successfully, what do you need? Number one, you need a strategy. I use gaps. Okay, You have to have a strategy to day trade. You cannot just decide to trade. And I want to point out that buying support and shorting resistance is not a strategy. It's not a strategy at all. It's a play. There's a difference. Number two, you need a system, a system to follow that has rules. Remember back in the day you went to school and you took the math courses and there were rules to do different equations. You had to follow the rules. Two plus two equals four. You had to follow the system. And if you didn't follow the rules, you didn't get the right answer. Okay? A system is in place to follow with rules, and you need that. And I have that in my system. It's the rating system. Number three, you need a method and a structure to enter and exit the trades. That means you have a structure and a method. That means you don't just say, oh, I think I'm going to take it here, and I think I'm going to get out of it here. I think, and as soon as you take it, you kill it, and then it goes on to work. I mean, if you could have gone long and short ARO 17 times on Friday, and you probably lost money, or you could have taken a perfect, beautiful trade, and made money, okay? So you have to have a method and a structure in order to day trade successfully. And you also have to have, number four, you have to have monetary goals. They are per day, per week, and per trade. So you were entering the trade, you have a certain amount you're risking, and then the goal you want to make in the trade, you have a goal per day, you have a goal per week, and you have a goal per year. And the goal per year might be to make a quarter of a million dollars a year. How are you going to get to that goal? You have to break it down and break it down and break it down to the train and figure out how you're going to get there. Okay? You have to have monetary goals. A lot of people that train, they don't really have monetary goals or actually they don't have realistic monetary goals for the amount of money they're risking. You can't expect to make $5,000, $3,000 on a train if you're risking 100 bucks. And what I find people do is they're looking for home runs, looking to, to, to buy gap downs, or short gap ups, 
or just get stuff really cheap, or so they think, to get some huge home run trade that they'll make, that they'll pay off their mortgage by risking just a little amount of money. And it's not the right thing to do. And it's 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 a bad trade. You've got to be realistic about how much you're risking and how much you can make. And it's about chunking it out every day by having goals per day, per trade, and per week. Here's an example of a belief and conviction in the system, which is WSM. Because if you bought WSM last Thursday, when the market was actually red, the market actually fell off, of, fell, fell off on Thursday, didn't hold itself, you had a lot of conviction to buy the scap and actually take the trade. Not only that, to take it possibly as a swing trade to new highs, which it reached in two days. It reached it today, between Friday and Saturday, and never broke the low of the gap. So here's an example, if you understand how to look at this correctly, how to read the system, how to rate the system, how to take the trades, you got paid. You got paid on Thursday and you got paid today and you're going to continue to get paid because you're up in the trade. It's an example of a belief and conviction. Getting the right perspective also comes from understanding a system and believing in it. And if you believe in a system that you train, which I do, if I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't be teaching it to people. Okay, I believe in it because I'm making money in it, and I've been making money in it. Okay, so, I mean, you have to believe in something that you do and have conviction in it. Remember, a system works together in conjunction. A system is a system because it works together. A system is not one thing or two things. It's a combination of things that work together. All the parts work together. Trading successfully is not about doing a trade because it's happening in a vacuum, meaning you're going to buy support and short resistance here and here. That's in a vacuum because there might be an underlying strategy that's going on in that specific trade that you're taking in that stock on the day that's going to make that setup fail. And many people don't realize that. Successful day trading means you have to have a strategy. And if you've never traded in your life before and you have a completely different career and you don't even know anything at all about the market, learn one thing from this lecture today that if you decide you want to day trade, you must have a strategy. If you have that, you'll have more than half the people that are trading because lots of people that day trade have no strategy. They think they do, but they don't. And you have to have that. And it is not the setup. There's a difference. A system is combined, all the parts working together to create a successful trader, which is you, which is hopefully you if you really want to be one. And again, if you want to be successful, you can learn how. If you want to question and question and question the market, if you believe the market's dead, if you think there's just no way it could possibly happen for me because I've taken umpteen classes and lost in the market, I just don't see how it can happen. It's impossible. Well, you know what? That will be your fate. That will be your fate, and you may as well just quit and not even try anymore because if you think you're going to fail, you will. The market is a take no prisoners kind of system because there is only one winner and the winner wins big and everybody else is losers. Um, Hanny is asking a question here, first question. You learn in the class the rating system. You learn how to do it yourself. You must learn how to do it yourself. You need to learn how to do it yourself. How will you have conviction if you don't understand what to do? That's what I'm teaching in the class. You learn it. And I want you to learn it. Because if you learn it, you'll have conviction. I do call the stock to trade on the day. But that helps you learn it. But you learn the system and you apply it. That's, that's what you have to do. You have to do that to be successful. So once you get reliability in the system which is the golden gap, which is the rating system, which is the strategy itself, it's the gap. You will, you will feel conviction. You will feel happy. It will change your perspective. So if you're at a place where you're in a negative frame of mind, you have to decide, gosh, am I going to give myself a chance to work through this, to get out of it, to actually give myself a chance to be successful? Think about it. You can give yourself a chance to be successful. You can say, well, I'll give it one more shot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it one more shot here in the market. Or you can decide that it's just not for you. I mean, you have to have rules with what you do. Many people train and have absolutely no rules. And the great thing about new people, people that have never, never, never traded, is that they understand this concept of having rules and a system. And people that have traded don't, don't, don't train with rules lots of times. And they forget this concept. you got to go back. Go back to the beginning. Go back to that place of yourself where you first started out trading. And remember, oh my gosh, she's right. I, 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 I don't have any rules at all. Where did I go wrong? you got to have rules. You have to have a system. The system is not just one thing. It's not just, I'm going to buy this at support and put the stop here and do-do-do. No, it's the strategy. It's the backbone for taking the train in the first place.
You have to have rules. It's a system. A system is all the pieces of the puzzle, all the parts. And guess what? Money management is part of that too. Money management is part of a system. You can't have a good system without money management. You need to assess your risk. Where are you taking the trade? How much are you risking? And where are you putting in the stop? And the stop assesses a risk because if the stop's 10 cents, and you take 5,000 shares, that means you're risking 500 bucks. If you didn't really want to risk 500 bucks, well, then you can't take 5,000 shares. It's exciting to take 5,000 shares because you might make 10, $10,000 if it drops $2. But you have to assess the risk and know that if you take 5,000 shares and the stop's 10 cents, if the trade fails, you will lose 500. So you have to understand that. Again, that's part of money management. How do you learn all this? You get the proper education. You get the proper education and you need a plan of action in order to trade. I was talking about this today in the trading room. There are so many places out there to learn how to trade. When I started doing this and decided to teach people, I actually wasn't aware of that. And it was probably a good thing that I wasn't aware of how many places were out there to teach people to trade because if I had known that, I might not have decided to teach people, actually. I might have thought, gosh, there's way too many places out there. The fact that I never even thought about any place and just decided to teach because what I did worked and I knew it was really good and decided to do it was probably the best course of action for me because if I had thought about it, I would have thought, gosh, there's so many people out there. But I want you to think about this. There's a lot of people out there teaching people how to train. How many of them are actually successful? As many as there are when you look at the market as a whole. There will always be more people out there losing or with systems that don't work than there are that are. And that's the nature of the market. That's why it takes a special person when you find someone that's real and good like me to recognize it, to come to me. And that's why I believe the people that actually come to me and pay me to teach them my system and learn it are meant to find me. There will always be a plethora of educational courses out there and traders in the market that lose because the nature of the system is that there is fewer winners than losers and the winners win big because the, there is less odds of the people winning than losing. There's, it's, it's more chance that people will lose because many people are undisciplined, do not have a system are so excited by the idea of making money that they fail to follow any system or rules and just don't just don't know what to do okay so and also there's an attitude a perspective out there that is rampant that you can't conceive that this is possible for yourself and until you grasp hold of that and decide that it is possible and I tried to break that down today by talking about the millions and billions. I mean, you have to conceive that it's possible. Do you understand that a quarter of a million dollars in the years, in a year's time to make as a trader is like a boop? It's like nothing what's available in the market. Once you conceive of that and believe of that, you'll say, oh my gosh, you know, I can certainly do this. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to run out and do it tomorrow. It means you're going to get the proper education. You're going to get a plan of action and you're going to then put it into place. So I teach a class called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power and charts. The course teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction, whether long or short. And the course teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts, focusing on technical analysis in gaps. The course teaches how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth, because that is what it is for the people that want to participate, for the people that believe it can happen, for the people that understand that having lofty goals and being successful is actually something that they can create for themselves. Is that you or not? Do you consider yourself lucky or do you consider yourself unlucky? Are you a winner or a loser? Answer me. What do you think? Right now. Tell me right now. Are you a winner or are you a loser? I'm a winner. What are you? Ask yourself and look in the mirror and decide. Make the decision. I want to do this. I want to learn how to do this. I want to change my life. I'm sick of this crappy job you say to yourself. I want to learn how to trade. I know the money is there. I see it. I see it every day when I turn on the news, when I turn on the charts. Diane is a winner. Monique is a winner. And both of them have taken my class. So congratulations <laughs> for coming here today. Wonderful women. you got to decide if you want to be a winner or not. A friend of mine said to me the other day, he said, I was telling him something that I wanted to do. And he said, Melissa, i got to give you credit. You really think big. 
And he's right, I do think big. And guess what? My life is big, okay? And I've created it. It didn't happen in a second, and it didn't happen a minute. It's five years I'm doing this now. If someone told you it's going to take five years to make a quarter of a million dollars a year or a million dollars of a year, would you do the work to learn it? Would you try? Five years is nothing in the span of your life. A year is nothing in the span of your life. You've got to get some perspective here and create a plan of action to achieve your financial goals of making a quarter of a million dollars a year if this is what you want to do. Okay, if you want to day trade, if you want to do this, if you want to change careers, if you're a trader right now and you need a strategy, then you've got to decide. Put a plan of action in place. Know your goals. Philip is a winner too, and Philip did my class as well. You guys are terrific. So, plan of action. How will you get there? Number one, trade only gold and gas or rate according to the 26 point rating system so that you have a high rate of success in your directional bias. Number two, get the best entry you can with precision. Early in the morning, to get good risk-reward trades, your goal is three. But I showed you today, you don't even need three to make money. Create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal of making a quarter million dollars a year training. If that is what you want to do, you have to say, how am I going to do it? I have to break it down. I have to break it down. I have to break it down. Per week, what do I need to make? Per month, what do I need to make? Per trade, what do I need to make? Do I need to get out of every trade at two hours to make $1,000 a day? Okay, yes. Do I need to get out here at every first target? Yes. Do I need to hold it to the target? Yes. Whatever it is, you have to create the plan of action. How are you going to do it? And not only that, decide. Decide what that is. Make the decision. So many people, you talk to them and say, well, how much money do you want to make today? Uh, uh. No, no, you should only answer the question right now, right now, and be realistic. I'm not talking about making a million dollars in a day. I'm talking about being realistic, how much money you want to make, what will make you happy? If you got up every morning at $500 in 20 minutes, would you be happy? That's 2,500 bucks a week. That's 10 grand a month. Would you be happy working for 30 minutes a day making that kind of money? Would you? Know that. Know the answer. I don't know, but know the answer. So the class I teach is the Golden Gap course. It teaches the 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And Hattie was asking me about this. I teach you the system. That's what the class is. The course teaches what direction to play the stock. It also teaches you how to play the stock on the live day and take the entries and exits. The class teaches you how to read institutional positioning in stocks because they're the ones that are making the gaps. They're the ones that are buying WSM. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to day trade gaps. Many, many, many people think about day trading, and then they dip their toe in the water. Whether or not they proceed on and really learn something that works is different for every person. Some people dip their toe, and then they quit and go do Forex, and then they find that they're not good at Forex, and they hate it, and then they come back and they dip their toe again. You don't have to work 30 minutes every day. Some trades go very quickly. Some trades go fast. Some trades take a while. Some are snails. Some are fast. Okay? The RSN is a bearish gap that happened today. It happened very, very fast. It was not a snail. Okay? ARO today was a little bit of a snail, but that's okay. It was a still a solid entry in trade. BRSN had a huge move fast and was done very quickly, and you had to get out quick. So the reliability is the 26-point rating system, and you follow the system. The gap rates 20 points or more, you do it. You watch it to sit up. That's a strategy. That's where you feel conviction. That's where you feel the reliability. You don't have to question yourself. You don't have to think, what should I do? I did the thinking for you when I made up the points. You don't, you don't have to think anymore. I did the thinking. This is what it took me a long time to figure out. This is what took me a lot of money to figure out. I did it. All I have to do is teach it to you. Your road is so easy compared to my road, OK? You don't have to think. You follow the rules and you do it. The trade works or it fails. And if it fails, you're out. That's it. You take one stop. If the trades go into work and make three R's, you take one stop, you're still up two R's. You see what I'm saying? The numbers work for gaps. They're very, very good. So give yourself a chance this year in 2014 to earn the income you desire, whatever it is. But do know what that is. Do know what that is. Work smarter, not harder. This is, in other words, you're going to say to yourself, I'm going to really focus and figure out what to do here. The work is going to be in being smart and choosing, making the decision to focus. It doesn't mean working your butt off, trading and over-trading for eight hours a day. 
sitting at home and reading financial reports for 20, 20 hours a week. It's about being smart, saying, wait a minute, I just got to focus on one thing here and do one good yap a day for the first half hour, and that's it. And it works or worse. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You're going to be smart about it. This is not a gambling mentality, okay? It's a strategic outlook, like a professional. Whether or not you're risking $100 or $600, you should be acting like you're risking a million when you take these trades. Because if you're too cavalier about what you're choosing, then you won't be successful. No, honey, good question. Honey is saying, the ratings, what is the rating system? And ask me questions, because I don't know what everybody knows and what they don't. Honestly, 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 don't be afraid to ask me anything, because everybody here is somebody different, and I don't know everybody here, and I don't know what you know and what you don't. A rating system means it's a checklist. So you go through the checklist. One, two, three, four, either gets a yes or a no. I'm using the daily chart of the stock. For example, ARO, I look at the daily chart, WSM, I look at the daily chart, and I go and, and I go through and answer the questions, yes or no, boop, 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 and then I add them up. You add up the yeses. There's no minuses. It either gets a yes or a no. If the yeses add up to be 20 or more, then you watch it to trade. If it does not, you don't. That's what it means. You're adding up the checks or the yeses. Does that make sense? And ask me any questions anybody else has here too. We have a few minutes. So 2014, I'm looking at for myself and my trading is a big year and I want you to think like this too. You have to think big. How are you going to make it if you don't think big? There's too many other people trying to make it. Make 2014 a great year for yourself. You still can. It's plenty of time. It's only March 17th. Learn to work smarter, not harder, to reach the income level you desire. Making a quarter of a million dollars a year day trading is achievable if you set yourself on the right path. The longer you wait, the more you're pushing out the further achievement of your goals and your own financial success. You can wait another year. You can wait another five. I probably won't be teaching the class by then, but you could if you want to. Wait forever. Okay? Time keeps marching on. Time keeps ticking. The market keeps moving. Every day, time in the market marches on. Will you get on the right path to success? Are you a winner or a loser? What do you want? What do you have what it takes? What does it take? Okay? Know that if you think, gosh, I don't know if I'm smart enough, I will help teach you. You have the capacity. Don't think that you don't. You do. You do have the capacity. You have to believe in yourself. You must. Okay? Do you want to learn a unique method or a stale one? Will 2014 be a big year for you or are you like every other one before it? Wondering, gosh, I'm behind the eight ball. When? When is it going to happen for me? You have to make it happen for yourself. So make 2014 your big year. Your pot of gold on today, the St. Patrick's Day, your pot of gold is in Golden Gaps. You came here. You found me. You found me today. You are here for a reason. We were meant to meet, okay? Your pot of gold is in Golden Gaps, so empower yourself today. The Golden Gap course is a complete system to learn to trade. The class is called the Golden Gap course. Is it a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks at a professional bearish gaps? Retakes are free online. As soon as you sign up for the class, you can take it as many times as you want to. It's an online class. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. It's online. The class is this coming weekend, March 22nd and 23rd, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you are interested, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. And here's my email again in here. If you want information, you can email me. Oh, Kathy, can you just plop that in? It just went up. I'm also doing another class this month called the Trends Course. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. This is really more for people who want to do swing trades or overnights. It helps you become a better day trader if you want to, but the Golden Gap class actually teaches you everything you need to know how to day trade. This is a class that actually lifts your level of day trading to a larger level to be able to look at things in a bigger time frame. And it's a great class for swing traders or board traders. If the class is March 25th and 26th from 1 to 5. It's broken up into two days. The cost of this class is $9.99. Again, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want more information. And I'm doing a special for March. The March combo class is two for the price of $29.99. 
It's a savings of 500 bucks. So if you want to do the Golden Gap class and the Trends class, you can sign up for March and pay $29.99 for both classes. This is the March special. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. And let me see, there's any other questions here? And again, here's my email since it plopped up. Does anyone have any other questions here? Let me just see. Calvin, I am one person doing everything. So to answer that question, I make the schedule for the classes, usually after the class, depending on how much interest I have and how much energy I have. <laughs> Because I'm trading every day, Monday through Friday. I'm running the live room, and then I do the classes. So I know I'm doing a class this weekend on March 22nd and 23rd. I will do a future class. I do not know the exact date yet for the next class. But I can certainly tell you uh, when I do know. And uh, you can email me, and I can let you know. Or, or, you know, if you can get on the mailing list to find out, too. Does anyone have any more questions for me? Think about the things I said today. March special is the Trends class and the Gap course for $29.99. So it's a savings of $499. You get both classes. You can do them both in March. You can do one in March, one the next time. You, you, you can do both of them in March. You save $499. Bucks. Monique, I have you down already. You're good to go. And this is a nice special because it saves you like 499 bucks. You're welcome, Todd. Thank you. I, I am inspiring. On the email that was sent out, I'll say this one last thing. I'll let everybody go. The email that's on Online Trader Central that everybody received to be here today is a picture from my building. That's That picture of the Empire State Building is in, in my building. That's the picture of the view from my building here where I live. Where I live. Okay. So know that you can achieve anything that you want. It is possible. <laughs> Monique knows. Monique saw my apartment. <laughs> Monique's like, that's it. I'm quitting my job today. I'm doing it. I think after Monique saw my apartment, she left and said, I quit. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Thank you, all my Trader Central. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kevin. Have a wonderful St. Patty's Day, everybody. Thanks. Thank you, everyone, again. We appreciate each and every one of you and your time and your participation today. We especially want to thank our host, presenter, Melissa Armo. And to every one of you, have a great day trading tomorrow. Please take advantage of Melissa's offer. Again, everyone have a good day.